Okay, this is, um, I guess this will be the first lecture in a mini-series on Ramsey theory. And I wanted to start off uh, with a motivating example. Um, it's one of the first and most basic results proven in Ram Ramsey theory. It actually showed up in the 1953 Putnam exam. The problem reads that given a group of six people, we want to show that at least three of these people are mutual friends or at least three of these people are mutual strangers. So um, to begin our solution of this problem, um, I'm going to kind of arrange or represent these six people um, as points in a circle. So I have six points. And each one of these points represents one of these six people. And now, I want to represent um, relationships between these people in the following way. Um, first, if two of these people are mutual friends, I want to represent that with um, a red line segment connecting uh, the two points. And uh, alternately, if two people are mutual strangers with one another, I want to uh, represent that relationship with a blue line between those two people. And so I guess the first thing that we want to note as we're um, starting out is um, if we can show that there's a monochromatic triangle or a triangle of uh, a single color between any three of these people, we're done. That a, a triangle of a single color will represent um, three mutual friends or three mutual strangers depending on the color. And so, uh, let us begin. So the first thing that we want to do to solve this problem is select one of, these, uh, one of these people. Let's focus on one of these people. So this person is going to have five line segments going to each of, the, uh, each of the other people. Now, we don't really know the colors of these line segments. They could be either red or blue, depending on whether this uh, person knows or does not know the other five. Now, um, one thing we do know, however, is that at least three of those line segments will be of a single color. Why is that? Well, we can imagine if, um, if, if that was not true, if there were only two line segments of either color. Well, then we'd have, for example, two reds and two blues, and then we'd have, nothing, we, we'd have no fifth line segment. And so this is kind of a pigeonhole type argument. Uh, there, we don't know anything about uh, uh, his relationship with these five people, but we at least know that at least three of these people, at least three of these people are going to be either mutual friends or mutual strangers with uh, this person up here. And so without loss of generality, we'll select uh, red, representing uh, mutual, uh, mutual friends, and we're going to um, just select some arbitrary vertices. So let's say he's friends with this person, say he's friends with this person, say he's friends with this person. Now remember, um, uh, well, I, I, I guess the way that we want to proceed with this problem is assume for sake of contradiction that, um, that, one of, that, that uh, there does not exist three mutual friends or three mutual strangers. We want to show, you know, we want to attempt to show that this property does not hold. And so recall that if we, have a, if we have a monochromatic triangle, or you know, a triangle of a single color, then, um, then we're finished. So to avoid that, we know that, the, we know that this guy is friends with this guy, and this guy is friends with this guy. So what about the relationship between these two people? Well, to avoid, to avoid, um, you know, to, to, to avoid a monochromatic triangle, we're forced to color this line segment blue. By the same argument, this guy's friends with this guy, this guy's friends with this guy, by the same argument, we're forced to draw this line segment blue. And lastly, by the same argument, we're forced to draw this line segment blue. And now at this point, we're finished. We have arrived upon a contradiction. We have a monochromatic blue triangle. This person is strangers with this person, is strangers with this person, is strangers with this person. And at this point, we have this blue monochromatic triangle 
which shows that there must be at least three mutual strangers. Now, of course, we could have started off with uh, assuming that this guy was stranger, stranger, stranger. It would be an identical argument, just swapping the colors. And this concludes our proof.